Hello guys, we are starting. I welcome everybody on this fine afternoon for this webinar. Thank you for your patience. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, we took some eight minutes uh, extra to just get started, but thank you for being here, right? Let's dive into it. Let's get started. Let's not waste any more time. So the webinar's topic is translating charts to strategies. Uh, in this webinar, right, we are going to cover the following topics at a high level, which basically means what's new, reading charts, uh, converting charts to strategies, that is the highlight and the main section of it. And then we are going to cover key points to keep in mind, okay, while trading. Keep in mind that all information provided is for educational purposes and it's not to be construed as any investment or trading advice, right? Now, let's begin. So we are starting with what's new first, as the first point said. Uh, Streak recently released a feature called Streak Technicals, which is available for free on Kite, right? So what it lets you do is it lets you visualize the technical trend for every time frame uh, just with a single click. You can just see what the 15 minute trend is, what the five minute trend is, and stuff like that. Now, why this is important and why this is being provided here is you can click on strategies. You can figure out whether the stock is bearish, whether the stock is bullish, and then just click on create or backtest an existing strategy, right? And then get started into that. So this is what's new. Uh, this is available for all the stocks that are available on uh, Kite, right? It covers the entire market irrespective of the segment, irrespective of anything else. So for every stock, you can see the short term trade. You can click on technicals. You can see in depth, right? So this is what's new. Okay. Now let's get into the neat stuff against uh, streak technicals uh, strategies. Basically, so this is basically some sample strategies that are curated based on the bearish or bullish. Now this will become dynamic. This will keep changing. Um, so try it out, make sure that you are using right kind of strategies for right kind of technical indications. Right now, having said that, let's get started to the main part of this uh, entire webinar, which is reading charts, right? Uh, and then converting into strategy. So why I'm starting with reading charts? Because I want to give a quick two minute intro, not more than that, two minute intro on understanding the charts right way and sort of going from there because if your foundation of understanding charts at least on basic level is not like found and it is not correct it will not sort of help you uh trade or sort of build strategies that sort of make more sense right so let me do this right let me go to uh kite and just open any chart let's say bharti atl or it can be anything right so i'll just expand this right and i'll go here so now this is basically a candlestick chart. Again, I'm going to only take two minutes on this just so that those people who are new understand how charts work and those people who are experienced make sure that their understanding of basic understanding of charts is correct, right? So this chart is nothing but basically if you look at a five minute or 15 minute chart, all the trades that has happened between, so example is this, right? Let's look at this. Let me just zoom in. And so if you look at this, this chart, this candle is 9.45 a.m. candle on 7th Feb. You can see the volume, the open, high, low, close price. Right. The reason why I'm starting with this is because understanding when this candle closes is very important before we start understanding anything about technicals. And many people uh, I have come across even experienced people don't know that this time which is being shown here, which is 9.45, is the opening time of the candle, right? Now, if the if the candle is a 15-minute candle, right, it'll take 15 minutes for this candle to close and the price you see on the top, which is 310.80, this, this price, right, 310.80, this price is the last trade that happened for in the, from, in the 15 minute time frame. So, candle charts or candle uh, the candle basic candles which you see here are nothing but a grouping bucketing sampling whatever you want to call 
of individual trades that are happening individual trades if you see the ticks right if you see the uh, the volume change here and if you see the individual trades happen this is nothing but just a grouping of that based on a time interval okay and that's what forms our charts now charts can be visualized in many ways this is a simple candlestick or japanese candlestick chart there are hekenashi kagi line break renko and others so now that we know that the fundamental understanding is that this candle opens at 9:45 and closes at 9:45 plus 15 minutes which is 10 o'clock and that's the closing price and in between high and low are established now next point is this right let me go ahead and plot simple indicator let's say an a simple moving average right or let's say a simple sma or uh, so moving average i have plotted let me just plot super trend as well right just for the sake of it right so now if you have plotted all of these prices that you see here all of this indicator levels right they are established only when the chart when the candle closes right so currently if i just go here and just make it one minute so that we can visually see and choose something that is a bit volatile so tata motors right okay great so now we can see that this candle is still forming now this candle will cause the indicator price to move see you see it fell right in live market you are seeing it's falling and it's moving so people will say hey adx has already crossed let's say 25 and i want a signal based on ltp crossing a technical indicator now that is a very incorrect way of looking at charts and technicals right because the adx value which you see here the minus di value which you see here which i have plotted here again for those who don't know adx is a trend identifying indicator uh, period is 14 smoothing period again these are just values so plus di minus di are two signal lines and adx is the average or the center line average this thing right now you see that this value is moving now it is 26 you can see on the uh, here right it's 26.26 and people want to stop and they will say hey identify uh, um, uh, opportunity has been identified right but that is the wrong way to look at the charts till the candle closes because till the candle don't doesn't close you actually don't know whether that is the final value of adx or not or final value of plus di or not or final value of super trend or not okay any indicator so that has to be strictly kept in mind that's why i start with quick intro to charts and then reading the technicals in the right manner right so again let me send two more minutes on uh, reading uh, indicators you can plot any indicator right let's say let me plot stochastic let me pro plot momentum indicator every time you plot you see a pop up which has different values and they have different significance which basically means everything has a different meaning right now the reason why it is of importance and it is of significance is because right let me also plot psr because people ask for that okay uh, it's parabolic sir right so every time you plot an indicator you get a you get a opportunity to choose its parameters now why i am stressing on this is the values you choose in parameters tend to be the default values that were uh, that were created or suggested by the creator of the indicator now you can modify it if you spend 5 10 minutes understanding how the plot moves if you spend uh, sorry if you change the indicator values so example is right so this is quite straight forward adx so let me try something a bit complicated so stochastic right so k period 14 means it is going to calculate stochastics on 10 past 1 minute candles because on top it says 1 minute you can see the cursor here this is 1 minute right so that's why the stochastics is going to be calculated on 10 candles now k period is 3 double smoothing period is 3 then this is 10 right so this is just parameters which you can adjust to match the kind of movement you want to catch right now what is important is this k and d now this indicator although is a simple indicator is made of two signals adx is made of three signals now each individually can be used to justify any different kind of moves so example is this right so minus di so plus di when became higher than minus di 
in this candle and previous candle it was less and we see that the stock has sort of moved up after this right again when you are visualizing charts like this to take trades right keep in mind that these values look good or this values look final and non-changing and set in stone because the candle has closed if you are looking at something that is partially being formed here like this one right uh, uh, people generally plot ubb uh, bollinger band basically uh, and bollinger bands uh, and then they say hey the close has crossed below the low lower bollinger band which you can see here right uh, which i am which i'll just try to zoom in slightly bit more yeah which you can see people will say hey i want to buy when the ltp or ltp is lower than bollinger band or close is lower than bollinger band sub one minute like which is based on ltp now you don't know some seconds back actually the close was lower than bollinger band some seconds it is higher so always when using technicals or any kind of price actions on charts keep in mind charts are nothing but bucketing or grouping of trades based on the time interval you choose and the indicators are nothing but calculations of math formula being done on being done on this thing uh, on the ohlc prices which you see on top right see just now we saw that the close was crossing below the lbb now it has gone up right so you don't know where the price will move unless until the candle has closed hence in our platform in streak right we make sure that all the conditions are always evaluated once the candle has closed right now having explained this right let me take you through the next thing difference between crossovers and higher than lower than this is a very important concept which a lot of people get confused when stating their strategy building their strategy or even when looking at charts to take a trade right what is the difference between crosses above and crosses below right let me remove some indicators uh and just let me try to explain it here let me just yeah bullying your bands also right so now when i say when you say that minus di let's say you want to sell a stock at this point where i have kept my cursor right as you want to sell the sell tata motors here if you want to do that what basically how will you say that right this point after this the price has fallen so i basically want to sell here now how do i write something or how do i visualize that this opportunity is always caught by me you will plot some indicators to either identify a trend momentum or oscillator based on your choice okay then you basically will see that minus di has crossed above plus di what a crossover basically means is okay let me show you a clear one here right so uh minor uh, so it basically means that in previous candle the value of that indicator minus di red color line here on this adx chart is minus di green color line is plus di okay so minus di is lower than plus di in previous candle and in current candle minus di is higher than plus di this is what a, comp a, a crossover comprises now this is the crossing above same way if you have to say plus di crosses below minus di right where i am moving the cursor that again will only generate a signal or the signal should be only generated or the trade should only be done once this x mark is formed right that is what cross above cross below means what is higher than what is lower than right that is basically at any point of time if you just want to say whether the close price is higher than super trend that is just higher than lower than so higher than lower than has no context of what happened in previous candle whereas cr uh, crosses above and crosses below does i hope people understand that right and they are clear on that if any doubts i'll just wait for two minutes and i will answer questions before we move to key takeaways and then just uh, the center part of forming chart from charts to strategies right uh, any questions uh, directly do let me know
so himanshu is asking what is the time frame for elder ray uh, bear and bull power for intraday uh, himanshu it purely depends on the stock that you are uh, choosing you will have to back test and sort of understand um, uh, understand this again so uh, jigar shah is asking can you please talk about crossover again uh, this is recorded jigar shah you can just go back and then just play it again if you have any doubts on what i said you can just state it here this is record this will be available later also right so uh, somebody asked what about uh, adx above 25 means right okay so i had said that line what that means is see adx you can see on the okay this right side you see the values here right on the uh, on the right side in the black okay so black is adx line uh, this red is 23.33 that is uh let me just zoom in a bit more so that people are clear on this right i've zoomed in a lot okay so 26 is adx 23 is minus di and green is 18 which is plus di what i said initially was uh you can say that plus di has crossed above 25 or minus di has crossed above 25 the reason why I'm saying 25 as a number is because the people who propose this indicator say that a trend is formed when the plus DI line has crossed above 25 or the minus DI line has crossed above 25. In ADX indicator itself is a trend finder. It finds a trend forming for the stock for the time frame you are seeing. Be clear on that, right? Now, what is the strength or the power in the trend can be seen by the plus di value if the trend is bullish uh, uh, then it is seen in plus di value if the trend is bearish it is seen in minus di value the red line right now uh, how many crossover so how many crossovers happens in a trading day uh, vivek has asked this how many questions uh, crossovers can happen in a trading day so answer of this is a lot depends on stock depends on your time frame the best part is this right if we, so i'll show you how to identify those crossovers and you can see for which stocks how many uh, uh, indicators uh, how many crossovers are happening in a day that we can see in trade log manish kumar has asked who proposed these indicators uh, see all these indicators are math functions manish somebody in some time in history right created these technical indicators because they wanted to analyze the movement of stock based on certain price change um uh, so any quick important questions okay great so uh let's get to the key takeaways and then the main part of this entire webinar which will basically make you very good in taking any chart strategy and identifying whether it is going to work or not okay that's the main takeaway before we get into that just key takeaways of the previous section charts are nothing but sample trades over time again i have explained why this is in a minute there can be thousands lakhs of trades that are happening but to see it in a chart to visualize where the price moved and remove noise people generally group bucket or collectively say that in this one minute the volume traded was ten thousand. the price opened at x the close as y this is the high this is the low okay the other point is the the time that you see in charts is the opening time of the candle not the closing time so don't expect any technicals or don't use uh you uh, don't expect any technicals value to get finalized if the candle has not closed right hekanashi somebody is asking shriram i'll cover hekanashi also right let me just give me some time i have some charges on hekanashi that uh, as samples that i'll be covering in this webinar just give me a minute so people have asked how to add more conditions um, uh, and how to build orb strategies with 15 minute candle brilliant questions i have them in this same webinar so stick around in next 10 minutes we'll be covering those right so uh Okay, so other these two points are basically straightforward. Each line in an indicator is a specific formula and can be used individually or in a combination. You can just read this slowly whenever you are getting time and then just use it, right? 
so is rsi club with macd a good combination to take good positions in trade let's try a strategy vikas then we'll let get to know that right so now let's get started the main section the highlight the entire summary of this uh or the entire main set the all the build up all the learnings has been to get to this point from charts to strategies people have faced issues a lot in this right but we are basically trying to explain how to form your own strategies and uh, uh, from any chart before i just explain what this is right let me just say one statement right if you ever have seen chart to trade if you ever take a trade based on something you see in the chart you can make a strategy out of it in minutes and check whether that works for that stock or not if it works well and good if it doesn't work to your satisfaction you can optimize it my first webinar covers that right okay let's get started with that adding so charts to strategies sample one again this is for education purposes this is a very simple stochastic momentum strategy okay what we are trying to do here is let me just remove all the random indicators uh, let me just make it one hour candle people are asking me intraday and all the stuff let me just cover that let me get to that just give me a minute so see again here the strategy is very simple you want to buy when the uh, plus k okay plus k uh, sorry percentage k is black line percentage d is red line when the percentage d crosses above percentage sorry when percentage k crosses over percentage d line that's what we are trying to do in this strategy so let's say your strategy is you want to buy tata motors at 11:15 on 6th of feb which was yesterday right let's say you wanted to buy that and you want to test whether this kind of buying actually have has has it ever worked how many times it works how much money will it make you how much losses what is the risk all these questions which were not answered before in few minutes can be answered right you just go to streak click on create right you choose a stock as tata motors if you guys have any favorite stocks that you guys want me to sort of run this strategy on just let me know i'll just add it here kind of just keep typing right so again the indicator is stochastic momentum very simple you just type stochastic it comes here make sure that you are entering the same values here which is 10 3 uh 3 and 10 right so it's 10 3 3 and 10 keep in mind the first one is percentage k which is going to refer only to the black line right now i say crosses above then i will say stochastic momentum percentage d which is the red line right so what i did here okay this is the technical sample i'll cover price action sample also kindly have some patience people have mayur has said acc reliance i'll add those two as well okay acc reliance uh okay uh, that's about, let's let's just get to the point here right again here you see in kite chart they say overbought bought is 40 and oversold is minus 40 we'll come to that but percentage k is black percentage d is red and you want to take a trade assume only when minus d uh, sorry when the black line crosses above the red line how do you do that right this is how you do that very simple we have put it here now exit you can give or you can just keep it in uh, okay let's see exit let's see let me say an exit also let's say we'll exit here when the again um, we see that according to the base values by default values 40 is a overbought zone so if the black line which is the percentage k line crosses above uh 40 i will exit uh somebody has a shock leyland also i'll add that a uh, shock leyland right uh, let me just add guys i mean you, you can just try it out it's very simple right i i cannot just back this every strategy but again i'm just saying it crosses above right and then i'll say number here because i want to say 40 so 40 is a number it's a level so you can give that i will just give 0.5% stop loss 1.5% take profits again keeping the main, maintaining the win to loss ratio of 3 is to 1 right giving it a uh, name sample ch s1 
Active strategy is one, right? Again, in advanced, you can uh, let me just show you quickly advanced, right? So here you can select different candle chart types, candlestick, Hekanashi, Renko. I'm only covering candlestick uh, for this strategy. Next strategy, probably we will look at even Hekanashi, right? So we see that Tata Motors, it has not done that great. Let's see how ACC performs. ACC is much better than Tata Motors. We can see the performance chart. Reliance has done significantly good. That is because Reliance itself did really great, right, in the period returns. So this is how you can validate. So see, even though you see a chart and you think, hey, this will work, right? This would have worked. I would have done really good about it, right? But you don't know in historical basis whether that would work or not, right? Now, if you go to Tata Motors, right, we can quickly see here like where we have made losing trade. So we made a losing trade here that we entered on 31st Jan 915, right? So 31st Jan 915 is something here uh, is what I think. So here again, the crossover happened when the so the crossover happened when the stock was in neither oversold not overbought reason. So I'll just do a quick simple optimization just to show you how performance can be increased because you are able to backtest. I'll just say I want to uh, only take uh, acknowledge that crossover. Okay, I want to only take a trade when this crossover happens and the black line is below minus 40 level. Okay, this is what I'm trying to say when the bullish trend starts after a bearish trend that's what i am going to take a trade that's what i'm doing here so now here keep in mind i'm using lower than not crosses above not not crosses below is because this is my secondary validation condition right it is not my primary condition my primary major condition is crosses above my secondary validation is lower than right now i'll just run a back test nothing changed only one extra condition added right we see the number of trades has reduced the sort of the number of trades has reduced and strategy has significantly improved in terms of the amount of loss it was making right again we have started making profits in recent times right but we we see that there were some trades very early in the morning right which sort of made a loss to us so you can go and modify that again i'm going a bit fast here because i have a couple of strategies to cover right so what I did was I, I have just said that I don't want to take a trade. Let me just sorry modify it. I don't want to take the trade on the first candle of the day, right? Because a gap down or a gap up will cause this kind of an issue. We are using an hour candle, right? So we can modify and iterate on this such that we so that we can um, uh, we can reach the kind of returns that we want, right? So now having said this, right, we see Reliance is again the best performer and uh, Tata Motors not so much. Probably we can identify here why, right? Again, 9.15 trade has happened even though uh, I sort of wanted next trades to happen. That happened because 9.15 candle closes at 10.15. See, all I did was I ignored the first candle of our and I'm maintaining the same strategy in last one year, even though Tata motor has fallen 52%, the strategy is somewhat positive and the trades are rest, right? ACC, which was negative minus 11%. Keep in mind, negative minus 11% with a bullish strategy is giving 4%. So your alpha is 15%. For those who don't know alpha, alpha is basically how much you outperform the underlying value itself. Uh, people are asking Hindi mein, uh, bole. Uh, we will have webinars in Hindi, right? Ritesh is asking can uh, how to include multiple time frames. Ritesh, multiple time frames, if you see in chart, are not easy to visualize at the same time because uh, let's say you are saying one hour and then five minutes. Now one hour has 25 minutes. Now the condition can be met for the the any of the five minutes but the hour candle might not have closed right so because of that it is not provided yet but our research team is working on and exploring ways how to give that in a much reliable basis right now uh, so this covers the first indicator you can see max drawdown for people those who are asking can i do the back test on renko shrikant uh, and few more other people ask that uh, naman right you uh, this this whole thing is also covered 
not the not the chart to uh, strategies part but there is a dedicated one hour webinar on renko on our channel right kindly go through that that covers extensively all kinds of strategies from price action renko strategies to momentum strategies to trend following on renko purely on renko and then give it a check right okay best result somebody is asking brokerage laga ke hota hai that's absolutely correct right i have added brokerage we see that uh, because we are doing only 28 trades right our brokerage didn't fall too much if you do too many trades the brokerage does fall that is a very good point can we uh, show super trend strategy on uh, hekinashi uh, pravin is asking pravin desuda yes we will that is so now this is the first strategy which is basically using a crossover on technicals and then using one more value as uh higher than lower than to act as validation now having said that next is super trend this is what you guys asked challenger has asked can you make more on uh, renko we will have subsequent follow up webinar on renko but for now this webinar tells you how you should keep in mind that any good signal that you see in live market right might not be the best signal and you might need to back test to basically become confident on that right so again i'll just use some random stocks any stocks of your preference guys um can you just tell me uh, any stocks of your preference quickly so that i can just plot it here let me just add um, hexaware right just to show super trend right again so this is super trend 7 comma 3 right again i am going to this strategy is going to be super trend crossover right so i am going to use two super trends of different multiplier and range right so i'll just make it 1.5 right um and then i'll just say done uh, i'll just remove yeah great so now this strategy is nothing but going to talk about super trend crossover okay uh if somebody has a strategy like this where they want to use the same in, same indicator right where they want to use the same indicator two with two different values that is absolutely possible and very easy to do that's what is being explained here right to do that you uh, so the strategy basically we are going to make in this sample is uh, when both the super trends are giving buy i want to take a buy uh probably uh, one hour is a bit long uh, let's show some intraday strategies we'll just change it to intraday right so here the so we would have let's say you want to buy here because when you see the charts the charts are very important for you to come up with creative ideas of when you want to buy when you want to sell with a combination of all the indicators that are possibly present here right uh, and about 100 plus indicators are supported by streak as well right or even if you want to do price action which people have asked which i will cover right uh basically all you have to do is plot it on chart right on streak right so i'll just do this super trend one so any stocks that you guys want uh just let me know i'm adding hexaware somebody was asking can i do on hekinashi i will show on hekinashi for this strategy as well super trend on hekinashi right guys feel free to invite people uh while i am creating this strategy so i am just saying super trend 7 comma 3 so super trend buy is nothing but oh uh, this was uh, okay this is a different strategy okay so um super trend buy is nothing but when the super trend line crosses below right the close price so this is the candle right if i zoom in this is the candle right cross below means previous candle the super trend value was higher than close because the close is this value the super trend value is this right so previous candle the close was uh, the super trend was higher than close the current candle the super trend is lower than close so super trend gives a buy signal when close crosses uh, super trend crosses below close or you can say close crosses above super trend both ways it works right so this is the first one second okay we want to make sure that the longer one 7, 10 comma 1.5 the 10 period comma 1.5 also has given a buy so now the, here it is very important for you guys to pay attention to do this you just have to because this is the validation not the primary indicator you can say is lower than 
close rather than crosses below close right now uh, this is our entry now uh, let's say our exit is uh, so we want to exit when uh, probably when okay let, because this stochastic momentum is still there i want to exit when uh, there is a crossover uh, between uh, percentage d and percentage k right so let's do this So it's stochastics momentum uh, crosses below percentage D, right? Which basically means the black line crossing below the red line, and stochastic momentum is higher than minus 40. So I'm just saying it's a crossover which is happening in overbought zone. Because the stock is overbought, the chances are it might fall based on the charts, right? Nothing else. So again, I'm saying, uh, sorry, it should be higher than. So you can say number, and then you can say 40, right? So I'll just give some take profit, stop loss. This is sample CH2. I will just backtest. great so see we i added just one stock 15 trades somebody asked for brokerage the brokerage after applying it's again it's 3.26 percent right now you guys can feel free to ask me any stocks i'll add it here for people those who had added uh asked before somebody had asked rain somebody had had asked ashok leyland um uh somebody has asked sp sbi and i think long back okay let's just run back this randomly see the the point here is this the strategy was thought through created for this stock now it can be checked on other stocks we see it doesn't do really great on other stocks right for various reasons it might be the case but let's now try hekenashi and see whether that does some change oh people have asked for yes bank rfl uh, i'll surely go ahead and add that so i'll just say yes bank rfl that is our hfl right now we see that only ashok leyland which was negative earlier has become profitable and it had it was negative by minus 30 percent that's the period return so in last one year uh, sorry not last one year last three months the ashok leyland stock has fallen by 30 percent but still a bullish strategy does good for it right now how can I make other strategies hexaware, uh, which was profitable earlier, is no longer profitable? If you, that question you have in mind, it's the answer is very straightforward. Go to charts, change to Hekanashi, and try to figure out what's going on, right? Where is the thing going wrong, right? You see that there are, here it gave buy, but you were too late to exit, right? You can also validate that in transaction table. You see that in last few trades, all trades were profitable, right? Except for the last one. Uh, even though all trades look profitable. Oh, other thing which is very important to check is the reason why Hexaware went from positive returns to negative returns is the trade is happening too late in the day. The entry is happening at three o'clock. Now you might want to say that, hey, I don't want to enter that late in the day uh, because anyway, that's too late and price might go, the profit taken might happen profit taking might happen you can go ahead and change this right now no trades are profitable right you can look at it again and sort of modify it to optimize see ashok leyland has become even more profitable it was one percent earlier it has become two percent now so the point i'm trying to make is whatever you see in chart make sure to verify that whether that actually is going to make going to work or not right all the screeners uh, with which all the stocks are filtered all the validation is done uh, you get a list of 20 stocks using any screener that is present online you don't know whether that screened stocks value will work or not right without having to run up without running a back test now coming to the last strategy of this webinar which is a price action strategy here uh, i'm going to show how to basically create the strategy which you see here which is basically saying that the uh, the previous candle okay okay let me just plot it so that it's easier for me to explain um 
okay so the chart screenshot is sbin let me just open sbin i'm using just the chart here as a reference so that i know when that had happened so that i can explain it properly right so it's a 15 minute normal candlestick chart uh with the cursor i'll remove indicators just to avoid any kind of uh distraction that's coming right there's a simple uh chart now the price action strategy here is if a bullish engulfing forms right and the close has become lower than the previous day's close then you want to buy so this happened on second which is here so this happened on uh, second around yeah just a moment second feb Oh, the chart didn't change. So let me just change it. Okay, yeah, great. So now that we are here, this is the strategy which you see. This candle is after which, let's say you want to buy a bullish engulfing has formed, which is a basically a green candle engulfing a red candle. And the previous candle was lower than yesterday's whole day's low. So this is yesterday's data from 31st Jan a uh, whole day trading data right now if you want to refer this kind or if you want to build these kind of strategies it is very easy to do that right let me just go here let me just click on create and i'll just show you how to build that so let's say you say sbi and chart is 15 minute right two things only two things to keep in mind while building any price action strategy or any kind of strategy where you want to access previous value you have to pay attention to an a uh, parameter called offset right here you see this offset parameter let me just zoom in for those people who are not able to read this right this offset parameter lets you right lets you choose how long back candle value or the indicator value you want to use with an offset of minus 1 what that means is let's say i say close higher than uh, previous n close of minus one which basically means take let's say this okay let me show you here let's say this is the latest formed candle right now the previous to this candle is this now in that if you give offset minus one it will take this candle itself if you say minus two it'll take this one it'll, if you say minus three it'll take this one same thing for uh sma rsi any indicator if it has offset you can just specify a value so that you can compare that with any older candle values very straightforward very simple thing which is offset okay now that you have offset in mind right let's build this strategy right so the strategy basically says when uh, the previous candle so the strategy basically want to say that engulfing is formed so i'll just say engulfing we have we support about 10 or 15 patterns as of date again this also has offset uh, I'll just explain this what this means. So if you say offset zero and just say engulfing what that means is the latest formed candle is forming the bullish engulfing right but if you say offset minus one it basically means that previous candle formed the bullish engulfing and not the current one very simple concept offset lets you uh, access previous values in some traditional old legacy platforms it's also called as ref as the parameter but that doesn't convey the right information offset basically means you're taking something and you're moving it off setting or moving it back by the value that you specify here let me just move it back to engulfing being found for the latest candle and i'm just going to say that in the previous candle right the previous candle's close is lower than yesterday's day close now people have asked how do i access yesterday's day close very simple you go and use the indicator called previous n there you can say open high low close so you will say close and offset as minus one because you want to say yesterday's if you want to say two days two days back you can just make it minus two because you want yesterday's you will say minus one and you can select different candle you can say previous 15 minutes previous 30 minutes previous one hour and previous days 
and compare with that that amount of flexibility is being provided here right now let's say click on uh, let's add an exit condition also uh, or okay the sample doesn't have that so let me just not add that here uh, now uh, okay just a minute so let me just give a take profit and stop loss i'll just give one and two and then i'll just say sample strat uh strat three this run back this right great so now that this strategy has run right we see that this is how the strategy has performed initially when the sbi was going down it didn't perform that great when it started to go bullish it then was able to identify right kind of strategies now here the initial thing in the starting of the webinar i explained comes very handy if you want to see whether the stock is performing bullish in last 30 minutes last one hour last one day you can use this technical streak uh, technicals uh, pop up come back here create a bullish strategy and see that it performs good when the market becomes bullish and then you can if you see the results are good then you can choose to deploy and identify those opportunities across stocks okay now let's modify this a bit to improve its performance with price action you can use any technical indicator so i'm just going to say plus di right if plus di which is adx's positive uh, indicator strength def uh, definer okay is also showing bullish trend that means indicators are also showing bullish price action is also showing bullish then take a trade all three of three trades have been profitable keep this in mind there was nothing done out of order it was literally done in front of you to make sh to show you that an engulfing is formed and the previous candles close is higher than yesterday's close and minus di is higher than plus di let me show you in charts what i did again to make it very simple uh, i am basically saying if a bullish engulfing is formed bullish engulfing for those who do not know is nothing but when a new candle covers so this is a newly formed let's say this uh, this uh, a candle completely covers or envelops or eats or just covers the previous candle so here you see this candle is completely covering this one this candle is completely covering the this one and this color is red so that's a bullish engulfing you can just google that you can see bullish engulfing patterns right and in addition to this to make sure that technicals and price action are showing the same direction i just added plus di okay and just said that if plus di also plus di is this green line which i just covered in the starting of the webinar if plus di is also showing a bullish trend i then want to take a trade right that's all i change so that you know anything you see in charts can be created with ease in minutes on streak and this is what i'm trying to cover in this webinar somebody asks can you explain pisa please can uh, can you discuss adx naresh has asked can you discuss adx adx has been covered in streaks first webinar with multiple optimizations using adx with streak sorry uh, with super trend and other indicators kindly was that jigar shah is asking uh, uh, please create more complex price action algo uh, i'll just cover that uh, just a moment let me just answer a few other questions. Jigarsha is saying how to get day high or day low uh, at that time it happens. That is a very good question, Jigar. Currently, I, I'm sorry to say that that is not present, but in a week or so, it will be released. It will be latest or current day high, something like that. We'll let you know when that is released, right? Uh, uh, okay. Somebody asked. Uh, um what is stop loss for the strategy so stop loss for the strategy is very uh, i will just show you for those who missed one percent stop loss two percent take profit again it's not too conservative it's not too much right because it's a 200 rupee stock uh once again no RSI indicator please again it is covered in some indicators the whole point of this webinar is so that you don't have to ask me what strategy works right you don't have to ask me how do i see this see if you plot any chart 
and you see that a price has started to move after this level right or the price has started to fall after this level after this point you can always go and plot it on kite chart some indicators you can plot and figure out hey whenever this kind is happening uh, these indicators are moving like this let me make sure that this has worked in past you create that as a strategy on streak once you create it as a strategy you get clear concise information on how this has performed with regards to stock what is the max drawdown what is the max risk how many trades would have been win how many trades would have been losses you can choose any period from 2014 july uh, any and run a back test and make sure how the strategy performs understand and realize for yourselves how this strategy performs for that kind of market movement the reason why we don't tell or we don't recommend any strategies is because the moment on that same stock few people start using the strategy it will not work so your strategies are yours and you can optimize it to give you the best result right uh, vikas is asking zero and streak i am unable to test this time based strategy kindly hey vikas i don't understand what you are trying to say kindly just write to us at support at streak a cup of cover indicator yes it is there you can please plot it and just create it uh, create the strategies right now key takeaways here is keep in mind when using crosses over versus higher than lower than cross over above basically wants an x to be formed higher than lower than doesn't offset lets you access previous indicators value right price action and chart patterns can be easily made and understood somebody has asked me can i make complicated price action strategies to answer that you can absolutely make complicated price action strategies till they don't involve math operations as of date because we don't support that that is going to be in the next version release we i mean we understand that we want to give that give us some time on that right uh, somebody has also asked uh, this thing uh, somebody has also asked like um, can i do multipliers on sma ema i mean we will be providing that as i said in the upcoming release but how do you visualize that in chart because somewhere you have read that twice the ema move with something would give returns and you have probably coded in uh, uh, any coding platform right or gotten or heard it in some way right that cannot be visualized directly in the charts that are commercially available now if you have a professional tool where you can draw anything and do a math operator on chart very fine and great our platforms next leaves will be able to support that right that's what i'm trying to say um now having said that keep the key thing to keep in mind is being able to strategize the charts on streak lets you understand that uh, understand the performance of that chart which you see if you have ever seen a chart make sure to strategize that on streak and back test and then if the back test results are good precisely track it because see if you are tracking it manually right what happens is there are 20 stocks on which you want the condition to be checked you keep switching charts right that is humanly impossible so let's say i want to down track gdp inr i just click on it oh i realize that this condition met 2 minutes or 5 minutes back and i have lost the price movement right with streak precisely track for up to 100 stocks right that is what i'm trying to say now i'm going to close this webinar with uh, the summary being say no to blindfolded trading just because you see something good in chart has worked once right something really great has worked once that uh, the minus di has crossed above plus di and you would just sell every time this happens kindly make sure to strategize and back test this so that you know how many times this has worked in past if you are using any screener to filter out stocks make sure to back test that and understand how many times that screen stock would have given that performance and what are the right levels of stop loss take profit and the right criteria for exit condition right that's what i'm trying to say anything you see on chart can be strategized and then remove the unknown so that you always know entire win to loss ratio max gains max loss everything for that stock right uh, that is about it if you have any questions kindly go ahead and ask that people have asked uh, pivot points that has been covered in uh, one of the previous webinars kindly uh, um, kindly sort of look at that spend some time 
we are always here at uh, uh, at streak to sort of help you out write us at, at support at streak if you are facing any difficulty converting any chart to strategy just write to us with a screenshot and we will help you create that okay wherever it is possible we'll send you the screenshots we'll make sure that no strategy no chart goes untested no chart goes unbacktested and you always know that uh, what is the performance and you always are aware of what kind of trading decisions you are making right that's my time guys um uh, kind uh, this recording will be available right uh, see you guys next time and all as always have a great day